Interesting. And yeah, for all you guys, Florida gets the first questions here. It's not like old times. Um, what I, I said that one back in Florida, you guys got a kick out of that one. No, um, it was weird. I mean, I just got to the rink now and uh, it's just weird coming a different way. I mean, it's, it's uh, lots of great memories here, special times. My routine here is like, I mean, honestly, waking up and seeing like downtown, you're just just feels different so um it's uh probably not going to sink in until i get out there for for warm-ups or for the game but uh, just super jacked up and excited and like the guys that came this way probably had the game in florida circle it's same with me like i'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the fans and playing in this awesome building again Matthew, you talk about the memories? um i I, I wouldn't say ner nervous, really, but uh, pretty excited, um, antsy, just kind of want to get it going here. Um, I'm not really a type that gets too nervous about stuff, so uh, I don't think it's much different for this. Matthew, you talked about the memories here. Is there one that really sticks out to you? No, not just one. Uh, probably just, you know, so many great people I met. I mean, On Ice was one thing, but, like, this is a city where I grew up in, and... Um, just got to know so many great people, and it just I've I grew as a person here. I I just grew up here. I, I came in pretty oblivious to everything. I was 18 years old and not really thinking I probably knew a lot and not knowing anything. So um, grew up here, played with so many great teammates and so many that I keep in touch with, and just the sort of relationships that I've created with guys here, um, you know, will will last forever. So I think that's probably the my favorite part about playing here. I've got no idea. Um, I've got no idea. You know, I got booed last night, so <laughs> hopefully not the case today, but you never know. You, you've seen it with so many other guys. We get to that first TV timeout and everyone looks up and, you know, something goes on the jumbo run. Can you kind of imagine what that moment's going to be like tonight for you? Not really, no. Um, see what happens. I, honestly, I'll probably just be in the game and forget that it's coming <laughs> or um, forget about it. So, um, yeah, if, if it happens, see how, see how it goes. And, um, you know, I wish, like, I kind of think that's like the organization's way of, of saying thanks and, um, and all that. But, you know, I don't, I don't really get the chance to thank everybody. Um, I mean, I have before, but not the same as that moment. So, um, I, I obviously just thank all the fans and the people in this community that just made this place so special for me. And, I unfortunately don't get to make a tribute for them, but um, I think they know how I feel about them. What do you want your flame? How do you think your tenure with the Flames will be remembered by fans? Well, I hope it's somebody that just left everything out there on the ice, off the ice. I mean, I I just tried to make an impact in the city, like both on and off the ice. I tried to leave it a better place than when I got here, and um, you know, there wasn't a game where I I took off. I you know, worked my hardest each and every shift and um, tried to, you know, be an important part in the community as well. So hopefully they can remember that. Matthew, uh, a couple of the other guys have said that their first visit back to their old barn was sort of the stamp on the closing of that chapter of their life. Do you look at this in the same way or has that chapter been closed for you already? Like, have you yeah, it's, it's unfair to my, it'd be unfair to my new teammates, team, everybody that, you know, traded for me and brought me there to, to have me not close the door already. So I'd say... When I got traded here, as, as hard as it sounds, I, I closed the door then, just out of respect for them, and you know, there's there's no regrets or um, yeah, nothing like that. It'd be unfair to my teammates if I yeah. if I left it open. You ask a guy like Sam what it's like coming back to Calgary, or do you come in kind of blind and wanting to experience it yourself? No, I, I haven't really asked too many guys. Just I don't think it's as big of a deal as everybody's making it. So um, just see what happens, I guess. You missed the weather, no doubt. <laughs> I actually didn't go outside today, so uh, it looked cold. It looked cold though. <laughs> there were a lot of tukes coming off the bus. I thought you might throw one onto the. No, I, I don't need one <laughs> where I, where I am. So I didn't even think about it. So you had no problem, sort of, when you were playing, being the villain in an opposing bar. Would that still apply here? You think you'd still play with that same edge that abrasiveness here in this building? I mean, I go into every game, and I have since I've 
can remember playing hockey, playing the exact same way, practicing, playing the same way. I mean, you guys and everybody else are the ones that, that make those assumptions or, you know, those those names or whatever. So um, I definitely don't call myself that. So I'm just coming in here and playing the same way like I always have. And you guys will be, <laughs> be able to say whatever you want after. You still keep in touch with your old teammates? Yeah, absolutely. I had a bunch of them over when we were in Florida. And then obviously back to back, didn't get to see any of them last night. So um, I think this is actually probably better this year, being at the first first time back. Um, and obviously all the outside distractions that could come into play. I think it's probably better that we're here so quick and you know, a quick turnaround or back to back, tough back to back. Um, but hopefully in the near future, we can have some uh, some extra time here because I'd love to show my, my teammates uh, what all my spots were and what my uh, <laughs> What my life was like here. What were your spots here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> Matthew, tough loss last night, but uh, how do you feel the team's playing right now? I think that we, uh, last night was probably our first game in a while where um, we, we probably deserve what we got. I mean, Spencer kept us in the game the whole night and played amazing for us. But even saying that, you have a, a lead late in the third. you got to find a way to close it out. So I think we've left a lot of points out there recently. Um, and we're in a similar position as these guys are. I mean, we're, we're on the outside by a very, very little bit. And, uh, you know, we, we, have to, we have to get points somehow. So um, tough road trip for us. We have to start, uh, start with a win here tonight. Um, like I said, we've left a lot out there the last week or two weeks. So hopefully we can start tonight with a big win. Uh, I didn't really have any mental challenges with it or um, really any challenges at all. The guys here have been great and opened me uh, like right when I got here and um, just made it super easy for me to adapt. So really had no challenges. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Too much uh, for us in the third. That's not what we uh, want to be known for, opening it up and trading chances and chances. And Definitely don't want to be leaving uh, Bob out to dry like we did for, for most of that third. Um, just giving up a lot of uh, partial breakaways or breakaways or odd man's against. That's that's not us. It's it's unfair to to our goaltending who who uh, you know have been very good for us this year. And, um, just that's that's not the way we want to play. Where we open it up, even if it's we're down by one or two, um, just try to play the same way. And, Try to come back that way. You mentioned pregame that this team has been giving up some points. What's it going to take to right the ship? Um, I mean, just digging down deep. I mean, we we have to take everybody's got to take their game to a whole new level. We obviously don't have Barky right now. Um, he's, a, he's a big, big part of it. Um, our captain, and everything. So uh, everybody else just has to step up. And um, you know, this road trip is very important for us. Three more games here, so. Um, you know, that's that's three losses in a row. Um, you know, last last two before this night, we, we expected uh, to win those games, and they didn't go our way. And um, we can't let that trickle into today. And uh, it seemed like maybe last game trickled into the start of this this game here, and we we're down three nothing early. So we don't want to be known for that. We want to have better starts. We want to have, um, you know, I think just both teams. It wasn't surprisingly there just wasn't a lot of uh, like really emotion or. Um, Maybe intensity on both sides, but uh, to start the game. But uh, they came out going. Their specialty teams got one, and uh, or I guess they got one on shorthand and power play. And yeah, just hopefully uh, we can just erase that and realize what we did and um, learn from it. Obviously, but uh, we kind of have to erase that and come out in van with our best game of the year. Take us through your mindset when the crowd's on its feet. You know, giving you a standing ovation. Yeah, it's it's nice. Um, Special, obviously, had lots of uh, lots of fun memories here. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. They uh, kept it going for a while too, so uh, it wasn't just like a couple of second thing and it was over. So, yeah, nice one. You mentioned not knowing what to expect. Were you surprised with the booze at all? I mean, not not really. Yeah, they uh, um, it seems like lots of former players. I've basically seen them do it to multiple guys there that used to play here and that don't that are um, throughout the league. So, I mean. I don't know. You, you guys decided that. Does it come across as kind of glad it's over? 
Yeah. The, the, the yeah, uh, return engagement, or did you, did you enjoy it? No, I, I was looking forward to this game, but um, it wasn't like I know we talked about earlier. Um, you know, like I needed this game to close the door on my history here. Like that wasn't the case at all. That, that door was closed a long time ago. So, uh, but it's always going to be nice coming back here and playing for the rest of my career. Sorry about like to talk about the booze again, but like, do you view it as something that's kind of tongue in cheek? Just kind of fans leaning into the gamesmanship of it, or is a boo a boo? Uh, I don't even, I don't even know how to answer that question. I don't know. I got no idea. Thank you guys. Thanks very much. Thanks.